Hi, my name is John Brannan, and I'm going to tell you about the story of when we had very, very bad directions to a soccer game. Now let me paint you a picture. We ha have a caravan of cars with coach's car in the front, and everyone's lined up, ready to go, except for me. See, at my school, except for football, none of the other sports got to have a bus. So parents and older, uh, drop older students who could drive all gave rides. So everyone's ready to go. Coach is like, come on, come on, come on. And I am waiting at the end of the line going, my grandma will be here in one minute, coach. I'm so sorry. Please, please, please. All right, and he's like, all right, fine, fine. We'll wait a minute. And I'm like, she, as soon as we see her coming around the bend, entering the parking lot, he, the front of the caravan takes off. So by the time my grandma gets to the stop and we hop in the car, half of it's already uh, out of the parking lot and they're going down the street. Now, the very first thing our coach told us before we left was, if I catch any of y'all speeding, I'm going to take away your driving privileges. And he, as the role model and the coach and the leader, what does he do? Drive 10 miles over the speed limit. And the rest of the caravan follows him in the same way. Now, my grandma, being as a lot of grandmas are, drives on average at least five miles under. Needless to say, it did not take long for us to get lost from everybody else in midtown traffic. But we're heading down the interstate. And it's about a 30-minute trip. I mean, this isn't just down the road. we got to go way out into the boondocks. If anyone's from the boondocks, sorry. Uh, so we finally get to the exit that we believe is the right The directions tell us is the right one. We're putting all our faith in this little sheet of paper that Coach printed for MapQuest. So we get off of the exit, and there's a split. We can go left down Nowhere's la Nowhere Lane or right Nobody Lives Here Avenue. So, as the directions told us, we went right down Nobody Lives Here Avenue. So we're going, we're going, we're going. It's 10 minutes or so into this. We haven't seen a single building. All we've seen is trees and more trees. We saw a farm maybe off in the distance. Finally, we find what looks just like an abandoned parking lot. We realize, okay, there's definitely not a school out here. We've got to turn around. We've missed it somehow. So we turn around in this parking lot and... Uh, in the back seat of our car, I forgot to mention, sorry, is one, of, is one of the starters, like the star starter. So we turn around, we're stopping at every intersection, and we're going, is this it? Nope. Well, what's, what's the name of this road? No, that's not it either. Ah, man, we got to find this. Finally, we get back to the road before we turned off. We go left instead of right this time. We're going, and after about five minutes, we luckily find the school. It's underneath like a mountain, literally. School, mountain. And we're jumping out of the car. I'm saying, thanks, Grandma, we got to go. We're running, we're running. Everyone's already warmed up. They're taking shots at the net. And Coach is telling us, hurry up, guys, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So we, we quickly put on our cleats. We're ready to go. We get out there, and thankfully, we win the soccer game. And that, my friends, is the story of the longest, most frustrating trip I've ever had to get to a game.